In this video, I'll talk a little bit about training plans under ERG Video 6. I'm going to focus on the changes that have been made since ERG Video 5 release, um, where we made big changes to the training plans. And uh, under 6, it's you know very minor changes just to fit the subscription, um, the subscription buying model. So I'm going to refer you to other videos um, that we've produced in the past. Everything uh, works, everything is the same. But under the training plans tab, we introduced two types of training plan. Uh, one was the what we called the uh, all ERG video planner tool, the traditional tool. And under ERG video 5, we integrated it into the application completely um, rather than running from the website. So on the, uh, on, on the website, there's a video called Let's see. Uh, and our website is, is changing. So, but we, you are looking for using the traditional training plan tool. Now, there's lots of references to using a website interface here. But under ERG Video 5, we put it all into the application so that you could just pick a plan, wouldn't have to go to the website. And this is all integrated. And uh, the various types of training plans here, and these are kind that we call um, all ERG video, basically built from a series of ERG videos. So the intent was that you would buy a bunch of ERG videos and pick them each day and it would be laid out for your your um, type of riding and how long you wanted to go, et cetera, et cetera, and everything was laid out for you. And you would adopt a plan. So in this case, say I picked, say I want to pick the uh, Scott Moninger five-week plan. It lays out, you know, from August 26, which is today. I could choose a different start date. There's all kinds of options here. Um, create that or take that as my plan. It puts it into the ERG video. Um, I'm going to just call it plan B. Click OK, and it's automatically in my list of plans. Uh, in ERG Video 5 or later versions of 5, we put in a whole new way to do um, training plans. And it was basically based on general workouts. You can look at the sessions and they're made of, of general power files and they fit the model for the, using ERG Video Free. So I'd point you to the um, instructional video on the website that's called using the new version 5 free mode training plan tool. And this is where I talk in depth on how to use that tool and how the general workouts map to a bunch of ERG videos. And the cool thing is, in the past, when you wanted to look at a, at a particular workout, browse sessions, okay, and let's say I picked the plan, I've already picked it, so here, and I'll go back to um, configure ride and I'll just pick instead of picking from the library select my training plan and it picks up the general workout and then it shows you what we called TOEs training objective equivalent so in the top is the actual would be the erg file that you would ride if you were just using free mode so you have no subscription and you have no videos now in the past, ERG Video 5 would show buy now buttons here, but since I am I have a subscription, um, it's showing nothing it, because I actually have access to all of these videos. And instead of riding the boring ERG ride, I could ride an ERG Video ride with accompaniment and get the same training benefit as this particular ride. So that's pretty cool. So again, I'll refer you to that website using the new version 5 free mode training tool. And the real difference is we don't have the buy now buttons. You've either got nothing because you've got a subscription and access to all videos. If you don't have a subscription, basically buttons will show up here that ask you to subscribe now so you have access to the videos. Um, and if you don't have access to any videos, then you can ride the free version. You'll only get this button. So I could use the selected TOE session. And instead of having the boring erg ride in free mode, you can use an ERG video that uh, accomplishes the same training objective. Notice that the intensity and the squelch are manipulated okay, in, in that particular workout. So we, we match the workouts to the 
um, till they work out in the training plan. So that's pretty cool. Um, yeah, those are the differences in the training plans. Um, the old school training plan, we don't have a whole lot of video instruction on it. Um, we're not gonna we're not gonna create a whole new video for this. I think it's self-explanatory. It shows you that you can substitute sessions with different videos, but um, and especially in the ERG video plans, there are many more selections for a particular day. If you don't want to do a threshold test, then we're giving you the option of a bunch of videos. And now that you have access to all of them, you can select them rather than um, you can select them. Uh, uh, you can create the plan selecting these videos embedded in the plan and they'll show up in your um, training plan. So I could say pick this plan. I'm going to call it another thing because it's always picking the same date. I'll say plan C. And it comes up in my in my list. So, um, you know, play around with that. That's a, an interesting aspect of ERG video. And take a look at uh, using the traditional training plan tool. It's, it's apl applicable, except it shows a web interface for selecting um, training plans.